Hi, I'm Tyler Fultz. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years in the nuclear power industry. I've done a little of everything from engineering to operations to project management to maintenance and emergency response. Um, I don't claim to know everything there is to know nuclear, but I will gladly share some knowledge. If you have any suggestions of movies, video games, TV shows, news articles you would like me to react to, please let me know down in the comments. Um, if you like the video, um, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you didn't like the video, uh, please leave me a suggestion down in the comments of what I should do better. I'm still learning. Today, we are going to be looking at a scene from Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a uh, first person shooter video game you play in this scene as a uh, U.S. Marine um, invading a um, fictitious uh, country. Um, and I uh, believe this scene takes place shortly after a rescue mission. And things are about to go very wrong very fast. Let's take a look. Uh oh, nuclear threat. All U.S. forces be advised. We have a confirmed nuclear threat in the city. Nest teams are on site and attempting to disarm. I repeat. Nest teams are the, you know, the, the teams, uh, nuclear specialists uh, deployed by the U U.S. military to um, disable nukes, bombs, things of that nature. Confirmed. Would appear they are unsuccessful in this case. Uh, the blast at this uh, distance, um, the character would be blind. Um, the flash is much brighter than the sun, and he was caught looking directly at it. I have to say, this is a pretty well done one. Um, I can see the cloud. Um, the thermal pulse back there, uh, seeing those helicopters in the distance catching fire, and it would be very quick, um, just like this. Uh, here we're a little bit further away from uh, ground zero of the weapon, but um, yeah, it's it's that fast. Um, at this distance, uh, nobody in this helicopter is long for this world. Yeah, that's a big explosion. Modern Warfare likes to zoom out on these sort of scenes. Did he survive? How long will he survive is a better question. Okay. 
So again, he would be blind at this point. Um, at that distance, just on the edge of the thermal pulse, he possibly third degree burns or worse everywhere. Um, the pressure shock wave, most of his bones are probably broken. Um, the that helicopter, think uh, toothpick in a hurricane. Got some burns. Miracle that he can move. That's uh, pretty unrealistic. This is a pretty good depiction of uh, the amount of ash that would be in the air after an explosion like this, the high winds left over from the initial blast, a lot of things being on fire, destroyed at this distance. People badly injured um, appear going to be succumbing to their wounds quickly. And this was also a war zone. Um, odds of getting any emergency response personnel in quick enough is, um, is going to be dangerous. Everyone here is sadly um, going to die soon. Um, just succumb to their, to their injuries uh, from the uh, blast. Yeah. This is probably one of the more realistic um, blast scenes that I have actually seen as far as the actual uh, picture of what things uh, look like. It's unrealistic if this guy's still moving, but I can understand why they want to show you for the uh, for the drama of the uh, game, if you will. But um, yeah, this... This one, um, Terminator 2 is another good one. It's showing a pretty realistic uh, nuclear explosion. <laughs> Finally succumbing to his injuries, it looks like. to white and black yes um so nuclear explosion keep in mind i'm not an expert on the um weapons side of things uh, more in i know more about the power generation but um first there's your initial fireball um kills most uh most everything is just suddenly gone for when you're real close um, to the epicenter and it depends on how powerful the uh the weapon is um the thermal pulse which sets everything on fire <laughs> and then the shock wave which is again the i'll use the hurricane uh, or the toothpick in a hurricane analogy from that and um then of course radiation um this guy was so close he's he's going to die of his injuries long before any radiation exposure would um, take its toll. But um, yeah, radioactive fallout is definitely a hazard as well. Um, too, too close to these blasts can get you, uh, get, you can get a lot of dose. You can also get contaminated. Um, a lot of that depends on what direction the wind's blowing and it'll affect you a little bit uh, further out than 
what um, this poor guy was uh, involved in. But um, overall, I think the uh, the game did a pretty good job uh, depicting um, what an explosion looks like and how uh, horrifying it is. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, please let me know what else you want to see.